자신이 가진 걸다 버리고 새롭게 시작할 수 있는 장인 정신 여러분 알고 계십니까? 네 어쿠스틱 좀 아는 남자들의 기타 리뷰 어쿠스틱 타임즈 지금 시작하겠습니다 자 오늘은 저희가 정말 귀한 손님을 모시고 같이 리뷰를 진행을 해 보겠습니다 네네. 자 미스터 우도 로스나 모시고 예 Hello everybody Hello Korea <웃음> 네 저희가 어, 오늘 진짜 여러분들 우리가 사실 지금까지 어떻게 보면 어쿠스틱 타임즈는 기본적으로 AR 앰프 리뷰였다고 해도 과언이 아닐 정도로 맞아요. 너무 오랜 시간 동안 그 앰프를 사용을 해왔는데 오늘은 그 이제 어쿠스틱 앰프를 만든 그 그분의 정체를 저희가 처음으로 보게 되고 그분이 새롭게 런칭한 브랜드와 새로운 앰프에 대해서 또 이야기를 나눠보는 시간을 가질 건데요 지금 저희가 하고 있는 이야기들을 다 알아듣고 계시지만 옆에서 기타를 잠깐 치고 있어도 되겠냐고 저희한테 물어보시고 지금 그래서 연주를 계속 하고 계세요 <웃음> 네, 어 사실은 이게 저희가 어 지금 당장 여러분들이 구매를 하실 수 있는 건 아닌데 미리 맞아요. 소개를 해드리고 그리고 이제 다음 달에 런칭이 될 때까지 여러분들 충분히 이거를 알아보는 시간을 어, 가지실 수 있도록 저희가 좀한달 미리 소개해드린다 생각하시면 되겠고요 명음씨가 말씀드렸던 가진 걸다 포기하고 그리고 새롭게 시작할 수 있는 장인정신이라 하는 것은 결국에는 이렇게 대단한 무언가를 가지고 있는데 자기가 또다시 새롭게 무언가를 시작하겠다고 그걸 다 버리고 그렇죠. 브랜드를 새로 런칭하고 뭐 앰프를 새로 만들고 이런 것들을 과연 할수 있을까 생각을 해보면 맞습니다 이거 왜냐면은 어. 한 시대를 풍미를 했어요 사실 그치 그쵸 이미 평정했어 그치, 평정했지 다 씹어 먹었지 뭐 그리고 어. 지금 또 다른 걸 들고 나오신 음. 거죠 그렇기 때문에 이건 사실 그렇기가 힘들거든요 그렇습니다 그 사실 사람이라는 게한 군데 딱 있으면 좀 머무르고 싶어 하고 음, 그쭉 가고 그치. 싶어 하지 네. 네 그렇습니다 그래서 세계 최고의 어쿠스틱 기타 앰프 명인 우도 로스너 씨를 모시고 오늘 저희 같이 리뷰를 시작을 해 보겠습니다 자 그럼 이제 처음으로 저희가 목소리를 한번 제대로 들어보도록 하죠 And this is time for you to say hello to the Korean viewers and subscribers of this channel and please introduce yourself to them Okay, hello to you out there watching us. Hello to Korea. Wonderful to be back. It's almost like my second home, I would say. <laughs> Coming to Korea since uh, 2000, actually. And I'm, uh, my name is Udo Rosa, and I think a few of you, you know me from my glorious past with uh, AER, a company that I founded with good friends. And we did quite a good job in establishing AER as the reference class in acoustic amplification. So I had quite a big impact on that. And let's say I'm at least one of the masterminds behind it. So I'm back here. Um, mm. What can I say? I didn't do anything else in life other than study. But uh, studied social science history. Wanted actually to get into journalism. When uh, I just by coincidence got into a music store and uh, because they were kind of repairing my instruments and uh, well I fell in love with the store and uh, I bought the store and, and, and suddenly I was in retail that was the time when you just could get into the music industry with passion and and uh, you know your personal impact and, and find a successful and satisfying pleasing background and job so I did this for a few years and met up with some people and we came across with solving a huge issue at the time because um, there was nothing really working for acoustic instrument and acoustic is my background I'm a little bit trained classical guitar player as well as steel string where I switched over at the end of the day and so we came up with uh, concepts that turned into quite a fantastic product but uh, these times are over and times are changing as a big song of Bob Dylan says so here I'm in waiting for your new questions yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> 예, 두 번째 질문은 안 해도 되겠네요. 그러면 어쿠스틱 앰프에 뭐 관심을 갖게 된 이유나 뭐 이런 음, 것들 이미 뭐다 어, 얘기해 주셨으니까. 네. And uh, we're using AR acoustic amplifiers uh, for 10 years for this review, and, and this is the first time we're using another amplifiers for the review. And it has been the most boutique and best amplifier brands ever. So, uh, what is your main reason to quit all those things and uh, start new brand and make new one um, good question um, let's say first of all I'm driven by a sound vision that I have which is like uh, others in the industry too they are constantly trying to improve what they are doing mm. and um, let's say there is um, there is um, an Italian uh, um, economist from early 20th century called uh, Pareto and he analyzed the real estate situation in, Ita in Italy and came across that um, 
a lot of real estate was in uh, the hand of only very few people. And he didn't interpret this mainly as a political condition or a social condition. He just statistically uh, valued the fact that uh, big chunks in uh, s s uh, uh, connected to smaller numbers have a bigger effect than millions and millions of small parts. And this has become, I think, one of the leading concepts in our nowadays world uh, as uh, it burns down to a percentage like you can achieve 80% of the goal with about 20% input. Mm. And if we look around in the world, we find a lot of quasi imperfect things. Yep. So what we always did, my friends, before with the former brand, definitely we were not targeting the 80%, the mainstream, mm. so to speak, where a lot of people would say it's good enough yeah. or it does the job. <laughs> we were always targeting for the best that we could get. Mm. And uh, uh, in uh, correspondence to 20% input for 80% of the result, you need 80% input to progress. Yeah. Mm. And 100% you will never ever achieve mm. because there's always that's improvement. Right, yeah. Let's say that's the dream and that's what we have pursued with the old team, but the old AR team is not existing for many years already. Mm. I was the last running it in the old style and uh, as things happen sometimes with companies and businesses, chains came up and there's no room for me to develop within this environment. Mm, yeah. So um, I am still learning, <laughs> it's still improving, it's a lot of fun. And I thought, yes, um, there is way room to bring out something which goes up to the next level. may only be from 96 to 97 percent yeah. of the 100 yeah. percent goal but it's a big step ahead mm -hmm. so my life offered the opportunity to to take this change and move ahead with this and i have to say after now almost two years of preparation and working mm -hmm. i'm very very happy with the results mm -hmm. very confident Great. and very excited uh, to move forward in this yeah. direction yeah. 인터뷰 했던 얘기가 정말 여기서 mm. 다 정리를 해 주시니까 <웃음> 굉장히 감격스럽네요. <웃음> 네. 우리는 과연 그렇게 할수 있을 것인가? 아하. 그 정말 약간의 1%의 성장과 그리고 음. 아직까지 계속해서 무언가 개발을 하고 앞으로 달려나가기 위해서 우리가 그렇게 무언가를 할수 있을까를 생각해 보면은 참 대단한 이야기였던 것 같습니다. 진짜 장인이네요. 어, 장인이세요. <웃음> 장인 네, 장인 맞아요. 네. <웃음> 자, 그러면 어. Okay, next question. And uh, what kind of sound are you looking for by Uder Rosna Ems and uh, what's the, the special features or and uh, the main merits of this outfit? Okay, well, this is a long story. Yeah. Because <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> if we look into, uh, uh, in, if into the development of acoustic music, and you go a little bit back, um, I am in the fortunate position that historically I was alive and aware and in my, my best years, so to speak, when the first big transition happened in acoustic, um, acoustic music, when, let's say, American influences of traditional folk music, blues um, and, and gospel came over with players uh, in the US, then they uh, embarked into the UK and from UK it came over to the continent to Europe and the playing style at that time was simply called finger picking style yeah, mm -hmm. and it was people like you know the, 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 the conveyor belt between US and Europe actually was Davy Graham uh, an English guitar player Stefan Grossman a big name who, who kind of brought a lot of this uh, hillbilly ragtime Appalachian music mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff uh, for guitar over and they started with the first publications, Oak publication became very, very famous. Certain labels like Kicking Mule, for example, bra brought stuff over John Fahey. Names like, well, you heard music that you actually never ever heard before. Mm. It was the time when there was a significant difference between a purely acoustic sound, like you have it still in, in, in traditional American mm. Folk bands, you know, if, even even massive ba bands like like uh, was it Alison Krauss and and, and 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 Union Station, they they have microphones for yeah. their instruments, right? So they're very purist in a certain way, with a beautiful sound. Then you had this kind of new entity coming up. Let's call it um, the Ovation concert, yeah, which yeah. was kind of Glenn Campbell on big stages, mm -hmm. and yeah. suddenly you could have. An an alien guitar, I would say, an ovation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's 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 a valid entity in the industry, which which really 
performed very well on stage with kind of a different sound than the, um, that's the electric sound that we had. Mm. So that was good, but it was not actually reproducing the acoustic tone. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I have a little bit of this background. Sure, I was playing this. We had a television program at the time where um, an English uh, guitar player taught us finger style, finger picking, and you know we were kind of with this. Yeah. We did, we did all this stuff. Yeah. It was very, very funny. Because my background actually was classic, and classic is like pia learning piano. It's very, very formal, you know. Mm. So we find this as a kind of a liberation, being free. <laughs> and actually, I had a had a massive. Um, how can I say? Uh, like, uh, like, how do you, how do you call it? Like, I saw the ma Messias in a certain way. Mm. It was a very young at the time. It may have been end of the seventies, early eighties. A very young guitar couple at that time, guitar duo at that time, uh, uh, Martin Kolbe and Ralf Illenberger, mm. two German guitar players, Kolbe Illenberger. They were they were they were kind of called the Siamese twins mm. because they were they were playing like one entity. And it was the first time ever for me that I saw two acoustic guitars, mainly playing instrumental, mm. with wreck of technology. I mean, a, a digital re, um, mm -hmm. delay at the mm -hmm. time, Dynacord DRS-78, mm -hmm. was about <laughs> yeah. oh, <there> <laughs> that thing. Yeah. And they used, let's say, um, delays and, and, and choruses and stuff. And they, they generated, for me, an unheard of sound wave. That was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I went to the concert and I was blown away for days. I, I couldn't get it. Mm. It's an amazing, amazing album still, uh, Kolbe Illenberger Waves. I don't know if it's still available or if it is in vintage shops or whatsoever. It was uh, the first kind of intention, um, uh, in inspiration for me to get that kind of idea yeah. in an acoustic sound. And um, that's actually where it, where gen where it started. And, mm. and um, mm playing myself with all these kind of stupid systems that they were available at the time, the results were really frustrating, so it was really bad. So, boof, yeah, took it from there and take a jump. And this has improved over the years, for sure, because when doing it, when trying to, um, to find different approaches, how you, how you get the best possible sound, you learn about, um, uh, you know, the, the, the necessity, the needs of dynamic. Mm. You, you understand more and more about instrument, yeah. the special requirements of an instrument. Let's say when everybody speaks about compression, right? Mm, yeah. If we turn the, 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 the system off and we play guitar, I mean, how hard can we really get before the guitar starts to compress, yeah. right? Poof, it's limited. So you have to have this kind of little dynamic range that the instrument offers, yeah, right. and you have to kind of blow it up with whatever kind of stage you have in between. So that's actually where the background is and what, mm. what happened in between, and uh, 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 joining forces with a very talented elect uh, electric engineer at the time whose passion was loudspeakers. We were kind of merging the knowledge of vibrating tops mm. and the knowledge about vibrating cones mm. to come up with uh, very special systems. And this is what I have pursued and improved over the last decades. No, yeah. That's so it's actually a very traditional tone. If you go back into the old albums and you listen to John Renbow and you listen to, as I said, mm -hmm. Stephen Grossman or Doug Baker or people like that. And another important part that I forget now is um, um, guitar was always connected to singing. Mm. Mm. You know, so uh, it was the vehicle for many, many things. Tr transmission for different styles as well as for songs. Yeah. And songs with a message, right? Mm. Mostly political message mm. at that time. Yeah. Mm, uh, very likely. Okay, then using some technical skills for making some natural sound. Right. Exactly. And yeah. you <laughs> when you when you come when you when you see how crucial the dynamic situation yeah. is with an acoustic instrument, mm. and you think about the environments now, because we are we are playing mostly in function rooms. You mm. know, we're not playing in churches or special buildings yeah. that are mm. specially mm. constructed for mm. a small chamber orchestra. Mm. Right. So we are facing obstacles you know people mm. playing classical guitar in an american function room and you have the air condition at the back i mean how bad <laughs> is that <laughs> <laughs> right so um yes so then definitely when dynamic is one thing to to pay attention to then you have mm. to think how can you make an amplifier that is able to handle the dynamic mm, yeah 
when you remember the first days of rock and roll, when they piled up, just amplifier, 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 and amplifier, yeah. mm -hmm. you can do that dy dynamic easily mm -hmm. if you just pile up material. Yeah. No problem, but who yeah. wants that? Yeah. So, boof. The other th thing is to have it as small and portable mm. as possible. Mm. And then okay. you come to take certain technology, the yeah. technological approaches that uh, make a difference. And oh. yeah, uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. 어떻게 보면은 그 뭐랄까 실제 연주자들한테는 mm. 더 무서운 걸 수도 있어요. 그렇죠. 네. 왜냐하면 더 내추럴하니까 네. 더잘 쳐야 되는 거지. 그렇죠. 왜냐하면 네. 아, 아까도 말씀하셨던 것처럼 이 와이드 음. 다이나믹 레인지가 사실은 연주자한테 굉장히 약이 그래. 되고 독이 될수 있는 그렇죠, 포인트란 그렇죠. 말이죠. 맞아요. 네, 그렇습니다. 네. Yeah, we're talking about some wide de dynamic range. Yeah. yeah. <웃음> <웃음> Then con congratulations of your launching yeah, this brand in Korea. Yeah, Thank yesterday. you. Yeah. <웃음> okay. Let's get started. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, let's take a look. And Oops. here, yeah, the front fender. First, I'll, I'll take the word again because I'm so demanding, you know. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> we always need to make sure that it is a complete system that we uh, have yeah. to pay attention. Okay. So it is the guitar, it is the pickup system, it is the cable, and then, boof, the first element that we as amp makers have a chance to interfere in the sound mm. is in the input stage. And the input stage is definitely special electronic uh, circuits that allow the, ver uh, the, the different systems, transducer systems that are available to perform the best. Mm -hmm. So there is ways how you can electronically make a piezo converted tone, whatever it is, because this is just body born, right? Mm -hmm. This is what the pickup takes. Mm -hmm. And turn this into something which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. This is a very important stage because when you compare A to B stuff, you yeah. will see pff, okay. a lot of mistakes are making here, even though the problem starts here, you yeah. know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please. Now yeah. up to you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 네, 그래서 뭐 이, 인풋 채널의 중요성에 대해서 이제 설명해 주시는 거는 다 정리를 해 주실 거고 <웃음> <웃음> 알아서 <웃음> 어, 알아서 해 주실 거고 네. 자 그래서 지금 안, 안 그래도 그 어제 쇼에서부터도 계속 말씀하시는 게 앰프가 할수 있는 역할은 사실 굉장히 한정적이다 그래서 사운드가 만들어진 이 기타 거기에서부터 앰프 시스템 그리고 케이블 이런 모든 것들이 영향을 미치게 되는데 어쨌든 그런 것들에 대한 중요성 우리가 생각을 하면서 앰프를 보면 될것 같고요 이 채널 1과 채널 2에 대해서 간단하게 설명을 드리자면 은 결국엔 이 1과 2가 같은 그런 그 기능들을 대부분 갖고 있는데 여, 여기 이제 특징이 여기 하이패스 필터가 장착이 되어 있다라는 거죠. 그래서 이 하이패스 필터가 장착이 된게 차이점이 뭐냐면 이걸 영어로 돌려놔도 it's still running right. Yeah. 그래서 이게 완전히 이 플랫이 아니고 약간 밑에가 깎여 있는 그 하이패스 필터로서 작동을 하기 때문에 기타보다는 마이크에 완전히 특화가 되어 있다. 아하. 마이크 기본적으로 이제 로우컷을 하니까 일단 로우컷이 어. 되어 있는. 그래서 일단 기본 살짝 로우컷이 되어 있으니까 이게 마이크 채널로서 훨씬 더 뭔가 아. 더 의미가 있고. 기타 채널로서는 이걸 사용을 하는데 물론 바꿔 써도 됩니다만 어, 기본적으로는 그렇게 만들었다 라고 보시면 되겠고요 그 다음에 전부 다 3밴드 이퀄라이저 가지고 있고 이펜 기능은 여기서 이제 우리 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 여기가 이제 앞에 리버브 두 종류 그리고 딜레이, 뭐 코러스 등등등 해서 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6에 이 이펙터, 공간기 이펙터들을 펜을 이용해서 채널 1으로 몰아줄 것인가 채널 2로 몰아줄 것인가 그래서 블렌딩 할 것인가. 우리가 마이크 하고 기타 치면서 노래를 부를 때 내가 이게 목소리가 더 촉촉했으면 좋겠다 라고 하면은 이쪽으로 살짝 지금도 촉촉해요. 어, 촉촉해요? <웃음> 충분합니까? 네, 자체 리버브? 충분... 아, 좋아요. 좋아. 네. 네. 그래서 그런 식으로 사용을 해주시면 되는 앰프 세팅이고요. 지금 저희가 이 뒤쪽에서 어, DI1이랑 DI2로 나가는데 각각의 채널로 나가게 됩니다. 그래서 DI1은 지금 건우가 저쪽에서 열심히 받고 있는데 기타의 DI 사운드와 그리고 마이크의 DI 사운드가 나갈 거예요. 자, 건우야? 건우야? 어? 촉촉하지? 자, DI 사운드 마이크도 잘 들어가고 있니? 어, 잘 들어가고 있어? 자 그럼 여기서 이제 펜을 이쪽으로 돌리게 되면 내가 더더욱 촉촉해지진 않, 않는데? 이게 없어졌어요 이제 없어진 거구나 네, 기타에서 네. 없어진 거예요 아, 그러면 이걸 이쪽으로 완전히 가버리면 은 어, 나는 없어 이제 어, 어. 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 이렇게 하면 같이 나 맞아요 음, 그렇습니다 자 이렇게 채널 확인을 해봤고요 그러면 어. 어 이제 뭘 해야 될까? 이제 어, 시연을 시연을 해야지 이, 이, 음. 아 너무 잘 치시.. 그만 치세요 <웃음> 저기요? 그만 치시면 안 될까요?